any possibility that Americans will be among the 20 that we release over the next few days? Well, we certainly hope so. I mean, we're we going to watch hope. this very, very closely. Mm -hmm. We're certainly hoping that a another batch of uh -huh. uh, hostages gets released today as part of the fourth and final day of the original agreement. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be watching closely to see if any Americans we're gonna are in that group. Hmm. As, it, as it has come out uh, over the last three days, it, we don't mm. really know until you get into the end game who's going to be actually oh. on that list. And, and then you, mm. even then, you got to watch closely even to then. seeing if <laughs> who's on the list is the folks that actually come out. So we're watching. And, and uh, we're, we're, watching. Watching. we're watching and we're hoping. And uh, so, Praying. you know, despite, this is all despite the fact that Joe Biden did such a great job negotiating the release. Uh, he didn't pin down all the details, of course. Uh, he's, uh, <laughs> God, oh, this just shows that we have no say in this. We are literally yeah. standing at, yeah. at a candy machine, right. putting a quarter in and be like, I don't know, let's see what comes out. The most powerful and important nation the world has ever known. Uh, no Americans uh, in this yeah, batch. We, we don't really know when that's going to happen or if it's going to happen. We're just hoping. We're hoping they're going to be nice and release some of them. I, I don't know. We're, we don't have any of that information, but gosh, we're sure hoping. What? So the How same we guy gotten to this point who praised Joe Biden wow. a few days ago yeah. for getting hostages released now right. has no idea when mm -hmm. or if Americans are going to be released. It's just luck of the draw, yo. I don't know. We'll yeah, but see. he must know how many Americans are he hostage. He must. He's got to right? know, right? They're on he top of this. He was asked about that yesterday, so we're about to get yeah. that answer yeah. here. Yeah. John, how many Americans are still being held hostage, and do you have proof of life? We think the number is, um, um, okay. well, it's less than 10, probably in the neighborhood <laughs> of, you know, about 8 to 9. About 8 um, to 9, less than 10. But we don't necessarily have three. firm, solid information on each and every one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. I heard it was 20 in the beginning, right? Wasn't that the number yeah, we I were given? Right. It I was 20. Yeah. D does that mean that... 10 or 11 of them were killed? Boy, I don't know. Or they just didn't know? I mean, Jeez. what is it these people do know? Absolutely nothing. Now, now, but before you play the next John Kirby clip, just, just remember how much of your money has gone to Ukraine mm -hmm. with no conditions. It's just like, hmm. here's a check. You fill in the, the numbers yeah. there, Vlad. No oversight whatsoever, nah, no we're supervision. Good. Yep. And, and you we just send the money. And and then and before that check that we FedExed overnight to Kiev, mm -hmm. before it gets there, we're writing actually you another one. So don't don't worry if this one isn't big enough. We got another one coming. Just stand down. So so now in mm. that context, mm. listen to this uh answer to this question about uh, uh sending money to Israel. Thank you, Admiral. Um Two things here. The president uh, called conditional aid for Israel conditional aid. a worthwhile thought. Is he actually considering conditioning aid or not? What he also said, right after uh, acknowledging that it was a worthwhile thought, was that the approach he has chosen to take so far has produced results and outcomes. Many of them I just walked you through in my opening statement. Um, so the approach that we're taking with Israel and quite frankly, with our partners in the region, mm -hmm. uh, is working. It's getting aid in to people that need it. It's mm. getting a pause in the fighting. It's getting hostages out. It's getting Americans out. Uh, American. And quite frankly, mm, we continue got one. to we urge, got one. and will continue to urge, the Israelis as they conduct military operations to do so with the utmost care for innocent civilian so life. The Democrats in the part in his party Jeez. who say we need to start conditioning aid going forward. What would he say? I think he would say exactly what he said to y'all yesterday when he got asked this question. Uh -huh. That's a worthwhile thought, but. The approach that I'm taking now is working. The approach that we're taking now is working. It's, it's working. getting results. Yeah, and so, yeah. So we're going to continue with that approach because it's so <laughs> it's good. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, yeah, it is. In other words, send money to Ukraine. Don't don't tell Ukraine to you be careful about where you uh, blow stuff up. You might kill Russian civilians. But yet you have a war that was started on the premise of killing Israeli civilians and then to see how the Palestinians reacted with such glee at this news in fact are now currently holding some of these hostages themselves but you better be so help me you better mm. protect those lives you better make sure where you're bombing even though the weapons caches are in hospitals and schools be very very careful or maybe you won't get all that aid we promised you Israel mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. It's a bizarro world. It makes no sense. Hmm. These are the worst people who've ever governed this country, though. So it fits right in with their with their mo, and uh, it 
it isn't surprising. This is just who they are and what they do. Uh, they're the worst. You can't count on them for anything. I mean, they don't even know how many hostages they have. How, how is that possible? How do you, Again, you know, with the most resources of anybody ever and supposedly some of the best intelligence on earth, we don't know how many Americans are in the hands of Hamas. We don't even, we don't even know. <sighs> it's hard to believe. It really is hard to believe.